While we were in Taiwan recently for Computex 2025 to bring you all the latest monitor and display news and announcements, we were invited to attend Samsung Display's product showcase, a chance to see all of their latest product innovations and get some updates on several exciting monitor panel developments. This is Samsung Display, the panel manufacturer as opposed to Samsung Electronics who make TVs, monitors and loads of other electrical goods. Samsung Display make all of the QD OLED panels used across the monitor and TV market and they're used by a range of manufacturers, whether that's Samsung or others like MSI, Gigabyte and Asus for instance. There's two particularly exciting panel development updates to share with you today. Firstly, we had a chance to see a new prototype 34-inch ultrawide QD OLED monitor panel at the event, something that's currently in development and that a lot of people I'm sure will be interested in. At the main Computex event, we only saw one single new ultra-wide OLED monitor, and that was a new smart TV capable monitor from ASUS. But we've had a lot of questions and feedback from our audience who have said that they're waiting for that next new big thing in the ultra-wide OLED monitor space, and they're craving new ultra-wide options, especially an update to the QD OLED panels that have been around for a while and even remain based on older Gen 2 QD OLED technologies. Samsung Display were demoing a new 34-inch ultra-wide QD OLED monitor panel with the same 3440 by 1440 resolution as the existing panels of this size and the same subtle 1800R curvature, but this time with a refresh rate of 360Hz. That's a decent step up from the ultra-wide monitors that are available today that reach only 240Hz maximum. You get a nice bump in gaming experience as a result. The press release for the event confirms that this new panel will be VESA Display HDR 500 True Black certified as well for improved brightness levels on their 34 inch ultra wide panels that are currently only certified to True Black 400. We can't share further details at this time, but we are expecting some further positive changes and updates with the new panel as well. Take that as a teaser for now, but we're definitely excited for this new panel. Timelines are not firm at this stage, and there's no word yet on any monitor releases using this new panel but hopefully we'll see some news, specs and information towards the end of 2025 on this. As soon as we've got anything further that we can share publicly with you all, we will. We've got various updates on their upcoming 27 inch 5K resolution panel as well, but before we talk about that we wanted to share a couple of other quick bits that were of interest. Of note at the event, they had the world's first VESA Display HDR 1000 True Black certified OLED panel on show. That was as featured on a laptop panel, and it's a new tier of certification that requires 1000 nits for 10% APL and 500 nits for full screen white. Their laptop panels use a different OLED technology to their monitor QD OLED panels by the way before you start asking about why this can't be offered on monitors already, but enhancements and technological improvements in that space will eventually lead to further brightness increases and improvements in the monitor panels over time. They had another demo showing the heat output between a traditional LCD laptop panel and an OLED laptop panel, which you could feel yourself with your hand easily or via a heat sensor probe that produced a heat map on the screen showing how much cooler OLED panels remain. Great for tablets and laptops especially. They had foldable, rollable, flexible panels for tablets and phones, glasses-free 3D OLED panel prototypes and all kinds of other interesting developments and technologies that could be adopted by their customers in the future. They also talked about the Panton validation for their various OLED panels in what they were calling their Synchroma exhibition area, showing the uniformity of the image in terms of colour reproduction and image quality across different devices, whether that's a phone, tablet, laptop or monitor panel. Across their OLED technologies, they offer consistent color accuracy and performance that will be vital for creators and designers, as well as for many other users. Going back to our main focus then to finish, and the other new monitor panel that we saw at the event was the upcoming 27 inch 5K resolution panel that was first announced at CES in January. Some additional new specs and information were provided this time though at Computex. We already know that this panel would offer a 5120 by 2880 or 5K resolution, a super high 220 ppi pixel density and an expected 120 hertz refresh rate. We know now from Computex that this will be using what we're calling a fourth generation QD OLED panel using the company's latest EL 3.0 material which offers improvements in brightness and efficiency. This would allow for certification under the VESA Display HDR 500 True Black tier, a modest step up in brightness compared with the range of True Black 400 panels available today. 
We know the new 27-inch 1440p 500Hz QDLA panels being produced this year will be the first certified under this higher tier, and the future 5K panel will offer the same improvements when it is produced. This will offer you 1000 nits peak brightness still according to the current listed spec, but along with 500 nits for 10% APL and 300 nits for full screen white. This could of course be improved further by the time it's in mass production, but that's the current production spec. The prototype panel was on show next to this year's 27 inch 4K panel, and while that already had a very sharp and detailed image, the 5K panel does offer something even better we felt. It looked crisper and more true to life, while also being visibly brighter thanks to the newer gen panel and enhanced brightness capabilities. This panel will also fit really well with Mac OS thanks to its 5K resolution and retina ready pixel density. Despite some initial reports at CES around timelines, Samsung Display told us that this is only in development stage at the moment, and there are currently no firm timescales at all. More news of course when we get it. There were no other new QDLA models panels on show or talked about the event at this stage, just their expanding range of current options and then those future 27 inch 5K and the new 34 inch ultra wide 360 hertz panels that we've talked about today. Hopefully there's been some interesting QDOLED development news in there for you today. We'll continue to provide panel and technology updates and news when we get them. So hit subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date on that and all of our other content. Are you excited for the new panels and technologies? Do let us know down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.